Hello and welcome. We're at the Glass Gallery where tonight's art exhibit is entitled The Four Seasons and it is a collection of work by the two plus three artists. Two plus three is because art comes in two dimensional and three dimensional uh, art and we have both. So come along with us and enjoy the artwork that's hanging here by that art group, Two Plus Three. This very creative artist is Steven Sylvester. This is the closest to um, a dress that represents my mother that I've ever done. My mother was a gardener, an avid gardener, and I grew up digging and probably digging where I shouldn't have been uh, my whole <laughs> life. But this is one of four seasons, and this is summer, and uh, that's what it is. It's primarily uh, a chicken wire um, structure with uh, clay adornment. The shovel is real, the hat is real, um, the gloves that are hanging on the shovel are actually clay. Really? Yes, and if they were a little more reachable, I'd take them down and show you. Yeah, they look like gloves. They look like gloves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love this piece. I couldn't own it, I don't have room for it, but I love every day when I come to work. Mm. I look at it and smile. Stephen, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Betty used Ann Swickler. Swickler is pre it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> did I not pronounce it correctly? Perfectly. Okay. <laughs> so, this is her work, and tell me what it's made of. This is made of all wool, silk, fiber. It's only fiber. And it's uh, actually roving, wool roving, which is wool before it's ever spun. And it looks yarn. like a painting until yeah. you get close to it and you realize, because yeah. it is, it's like a painting with, of, with cloth. This particular piece is needle felting. Wow. The other piece over there is knitted and crocheted yeah. and knotted. These are dyed sheep ends that uh, I bought and just needle felted them into the piece. It's a lovely piece. Thank you. And it's very different from any of the other pieces that are here. As every piece, every artist here does it their own way Absolutely. and they do it differently. So, Betty, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I, this is it's lovely. It's really lovely. Thank you so much. Barbara Longwell is a little lady, does big paintings. And these, they're wonderful. These, are, are, they're oils, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are, oil on canvas. And they're, Mac, what kind of studio do you have that you paint such large paintings? Actually, I have a very, very small space, and I don't know how they come out. <laughs> it comes from heaven. <laughs> they're very good, and um, I, I hope you get a much bigger studio because you need it. Thank you. I wanted. <laughs> I want a garage. Actually, that's what I'd love to have. But um, I, I'm happy to paint in my little tiny spot with other wonderful artists. Um, oh, you you paint as a as a group? <laughs> yeah, I just. But I go in and I just, you know, paint two three times a week. Yeah. Well, it keeps you off the street, doesn't it? it definitely, Barbara? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> keeps my my <laughs> mind clear. <laughs> That's what it does for me. Okay, so thank you for adorning our walls so thank beautifully. You, thank you very much, Elaine. Thank you. These wonderful, creative collages were done by Judith Schwab. Tell me about these pieces. These pieces are in honor of women who worked during the Second World War. If you, if you lived through that time, you remember it. With, with great affection, even though it was a tough time. That's so. true. I'm happy to be able to bring back some memories and to honor these women that worked so hard during World War II and needed to be honored today. So as an artist, you're not really happy unless your work is selling. Would you sell these pieces? Yes. Oh. I would. 
Say you're you're a bigger <laughs> man than I am, Gunga Din. I couldn't. Did I have I have so much beautiful work that I would definitely sell these pieces. Yes. Good luck, <laughs> Judith. Thank they're, you. Thank you. They're great pieces. Thank, thank you. you. Say hello and thank you to these two wonderful people. Rose Colombo, the president of the Art and Culture Advisory Board, and Benoit Menasha, the art curator of Pembroke Pines. Is this a great show? It's fabulous. Once again, and I know I say this all the time, Ben, you outdid yourself. This is a beautiful show. It is. Our thanks to the artists. It's extraordinary. It's a great it's a great group, that two plus three. Absolutely. It is so. a great group. Yes. That's why I brought them in. Uh, I think I brought them like three times in the last 15 years, yeah. which is great, you know, for us. And they, they and keep coming up with new ideas and new work. Yeah, as usual, you don't have one piece that was ever seen anywhere. No. I rather have less than just fill up walls. I don't want that. No, Every piece is unique. And they're beautiful. Uh, they it's a beautiful. great show. Beautiful. So beautiful. you should be proud. I am proud. I'm right, in love now. with this artist. So, you know, I see them and I'm really in trouble, really. And I can't take any more of your time because I know that you're expected in the That's other room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Rose. I hope you've enjoyed this 2 plus 3 art exhibit at the Glass Gallery. It's really so professional and so beautiful. We've enjoyed it for OCTV. I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you for coming along with us on this journey through the four seasons with 2 plus 3.